um, you know, light to to illuminate, to shed forth light in the dark places, and that's just you know through all the music and the lyrics. That's what we're trying to do. This is Dustin DeLong. He's 21 years old. He plays keyboards. He is a phenomenal merch guy. He keeps track of inventory. This, this is the stuff you don't know about the band behind the scenes. Is He's the guy who's making sure we have enough t-shirts, we have enough CDs, how many CDs we sold, make sure we report them. But other than that, he his personality is very easygoing, always with the flow. Whatever's better for the whole group, not just himself. So he's a very selfless person. Not selfish, selfless. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's a pleasure to have in this band. He, he, and like, yeah, he's definitely missing puzzle. If we didn't have him, we'd probably go crazy and yell at each other all the time. So he's a, he's a peacemaker. It's cool, definitely. Um, this is Aaron, Aaron Matthew, not Matthews. But <laughs> There's Matthew, no S. <laughs> yeah, and one T, one T. Um, he is the drummer in our band. Um, it's kind of cool having, I'm, I'm the youngest one in the band, and he he's the second oldest, Dusty's the oldest, but um, I, I'm glad that there's like a bunch of different ages, I guess, as far as the band goes. So there's a little bit more maturity um, that comes from Aaron. He's a good. Um, I personally enjoy hanging out with him a lot. And I'm glad he's in this band. He's one of the tightest drummers. I don't know. Whenever you watch him, whenever I watch us play on like a video and I watch him drum, I'm like, yeah, that's that's really tight. I that's think I watch really him more than I watch. Myself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's pretty entertaining. <laughs> Not that we watch ourselves on videos, but. <laughs> he hums when he drums. It's amazing. He's in the studio. Can you show us a sample? <laughs> sample. Oh, sample. Oh, sample it. Sample it. No, okay, he won't do it. I have to tell you for him. Okay, he does this thing where whenever he's playing, and you do it to... He does it, he's like... And it comes in like the, the sound, right? It it's amazing. So on our record, if you would solo out the drums on our recordings, you would hear this humming noise. Uh, Cody is a great dude. He uh, honestly, Cody uh, kind of keeps a lot of our, our business stuff together. He he is in contact with management a lot. He uh, does a lot of road managing stuff, so he um, takes care of like time schedules and like making sure we we all know kind of where we're going, what we're doing, you know, he's really good. He's a very detail oriented person. Some of us are very detail oriented, some of us aren't, but he is like the most, he like all of us combined, the details that all of us combined, he has that all in himself. He's organized. Very organized, <laughs> very detail oriented, so, and, uh, and he's a great guitar player. He's not like this crazy shredder guy, that just, you know, very pompous, arrogant, like, guitar player. Ooh, look at me. <laughs> he's just very icing on the cake type of guitar player, and he's a great player and um, just does what's needed and, and is not about, you know, show off and stuff like that. This is Dusty. Yep. Jakubik, with a J. <laughs> not Jakubik. Uh, uh, Dusty is the um, what we like to call the father of the band. He um, he's he's, grandpa. He is he is <laughs> he's grandpa and father. Um, he is the oldest and he is also the wisest band member of Luminate. Um, Dusty's been through a lot of life. He he really just keeps us um, keeps us you know honed in on our vision on, on what we do. Dusty brings a lot to the band. Um, just you know again mentors. We, we come to Dusty, we look for his wisdom and, and a lot of decisions that we make. And Dusty also, he, uh, he is born and raised in Tyler, Texas, which is where I'm born and raised in Dustin. And um, Texas, he, with that being said, he's a good old boy and he likes to, he knows how to work on anything. He works hard, he mows, you know, he's, he grew up like mowing yards and baling hay and doing all this crazy stuff like that. So um, through his, you know, uh, stylish clothes underneath is a uh, hard-working man and um, he's just a great dude and we have lots of great talks and uh, like Aaron said we're all brothers this is a family and um, we just share we, we talk through our trials and through through our hardships and through the good times and um, we lift each other up and encourage each other and so I'll say Dusty is you know that's, that's he's a big role in this band and I love him. It's by Sam here he's the singer of the band um, pretty big deal. He's the face of the band. Um, <laughs> so I met Sam in college in Memphis five years ago. He's blown my mind at how much he's grown. He's funny. Uh, he's an incredible uh, writer, and he just blows my mind at like how amazing of a front man he is. 
and I'm just very, you know, proud to be in a band with him. Um, he's made me very proud, and he's grown a lot. And he's definitely um, stepped into the role of um, being a leader. Yeah, I'm the oldest, and Aaron's older than him, whatever. But he's really, you know, stepped into that role of being a leader, and he's incredible at it. Our calling is through through music through talking to people before and after shows, um, communicating with people on any social network possible, that they have a purpose and they have a passion. And um, that passion is to be a part of the kingdom of God. That's what they're created for. And that missing part of people's lives is, you know, being a part of the kingdom of God. And um, we want to do that in a real real way, not a, not a fake fabricated way and, and not, a, not a selfish gain to sell records way. It's, we literally, I don't know how else to do it other than writing a song and, and um, connecting with people one-on-one -on -one at, at that, in that moment. So all five of us are on the same page with that. We're called to tell people they're meant for more. There's, there's a life of abundance waiting. Not a perfect life, you know, but there's a life of, of seeing God move in ways that you only read about and dream about. And we want everybody to be a part of that kingdom. Um, we're really hoping that whenever you, whenever you pick up the new album, Come Home, that that no matter where you're at, if, if you're in a valley or if you're on top of a mountain, I guess however they put that, that you would you would experience the presence of God in a way you haven't before. It, it is a quote unquote pop pop rock record, as some would call it, but the elements and the and the, the heart and the worship within that album is we felt the presence writing it and recording it, so we really hope that people can enter into a, the atmosphere of God they've never felt before. Not only that, but be inspired to pursue their destiny and because all these songs are, I literally felt like God was just saying, hey, I'm, I'm, you're going through these things, these hard times, and you're going through these questions that tons of other people are going through. Like, the whole world are going through these same things. I'm not, it's not exclusive to just me or, or Cody or anybody else in the band. So these songs are written about our personal experiences to touch people going through the same things. And I think that's what you can expect, is to kind of be caught off guard, um, maybe challenged, Encouraged. It's an emotional roller coaster because life with Christ is abundant, and we want people to be a part of that life. Um, please feel free to connect with us online at luminatemusic.com. But if you want a personal talk, just drop us a line. If something you like about the record, or a question about it, go to facebook.com/luminate. Leave us a comment, and we'll be sure to get back with you about it. Hey, we're Luminate, and thanks for watching. Breathe next.